ones that bring salvation and brings healing and brings deliverance. Oh Lord, pour it upon your people in Jesus' name. Wipe their tears away. Take their sorrows away. Change every life. And for those who are blessed already, add to their blessing. Multiply their blessing. Everyone, Lord, here today, I pray that nobody will go empty-handed. And for our brothers and sisters and sons and daughters, everywhere that they are linking up with us here, let the miracles flow. Let the anointing flow. Let the power flow to everyone in Jesus' name. Confirm the joy of the Lord in every life. I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. You can sit down. I'm so happy to be with you today because God is going to give you something. That's all you mean. We're looking at Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. And I'm reading from verse 19. It says, And I give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on the earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whenever we read the Bible, there are many ways of reading the Bible. Number one, read the Bible like a message, the almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth that he wrote to you personally. And when you read this, imagine you are in the presence of the almighty God and he calls you, he calls you by name and he says, come. And he says, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom, talking to you personally. Don't think it's talking to that man, talking to that woman. You read it in, in that way. And it says, I give you the keys of the kingdom. The keys that will open the door. Doors are opening before you. The keys that will lock the door. Anything that is coming from anywhere and that thing is not good, it will close the door today. And it says, I give you that key. And it's the key of the kingdom. Now, imagine that kingdom. Imagine it's a territory. Imagine it's a house. And it has all treasures. Everything you need when God created you. You knew what you will need. You will need this and this and this and this. And everything is inside that room that is called the kingdom. But since you were born, you know that that door, you couldn't get anything. You didn't know how to go in. It says, come. You need the key. And the key only comes from me. And it says, I give you the key. The keys of the kingdom. And it says, with this key, this is a master key. I said, it's a master key. This one is the kingdom key. And it said, whatsoever you bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth, it is loosed in heaven. You read the Bible as if God himself spoke to you. And he said, this is what I'm giving you. Read the Bible another way. Read the Bible like somebody in front of you, like me now. Like I gave you the word. Like you know me personally. Like I know you personally. And then I called you. And I said, you need something. What you need is inside a room there. And I say, I give you the key. Somebody there, you are getting the key today. Somebody there has the key. I said, somebody there has the key. Something will happen to you. And he says, imagine God is calling you tonight. And he said, mention your name now. It says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And then it says, when you have that key, whatsoever, my life has changed. Whatsoever, my destiny has changed. Whatsoever, my poverty has gone. Whatsoever, barrenness has gone. Whatsoever, attack has gone. It depends on what you want and what you say. Because I give you the key. I've got the key. 
I said I've got the key. And whatsoever, whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever, who is he talking to? I said, who is he talking to? And whatsoever you lose on earth, you will lose something today. That thing that tied you is today we're losing that thing. That thing that tied your wife, we're losing that thing today. That thing that look at that child, the child that is in prison there, and the child the captivity there, tonight we're losing that sin. And that sin that blocked your promotion, and blocked your work, and blocked your progress, you try to go, they close the door. Thank God today, somebody there. I said somebody there, you have the key. I said you have the key. You will open that door. You will open that door. That devil will be bound in your life. That sickness will be healed in your life. That prosperity will blow to your life. Something good is coming your way. Your family will change. If you are living inside a place where we cannot call a house, you are coming out of that place because God is going to give you a mansion. Something, it will be different in your life. This year, I'm going to remind you again, this year is going to be the best year you ever lived in your life. Because it says, behold, I give a key to you tonight. And whatsoever, and whatsoever you open here, it's opened in heaven. Whatever you lose here, is loosed in heaven. Sister, you have a miracle already. Because it's coming to you, we, we can decide it here. We can finalize it here. We say it here, it's confirmed in heaven. We announce it here, it's proclaimed in heaven. Angels are rejoicing because of you already. I'm talking to you tonight on the believer's key of authority and power. The believer's key of authority and power. There's a believer there. I said there's a believer there. I said there's a believer there. Where's the believer there? You have that key tonight. The believer's key of authority and power. Read this again, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever, everybody say whatsoever. Say whatsoever. Whatsoever in my life. Whatsoever in my life. Whatsoever in my place of work. Whatsoever in my family. Whatsoever in my spiritual life. And whatsoever, whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Look at chapter 18, verse 18. Chapter 18, we're looking at verse 18. 18, 18. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You see that whatsoever, that removes limit from it. Because it's not just this little thing. Because your life will expand tonight. Your life will grow tonight. You are moving forward tonight. Satan does not have the final say in your life. Say it for yourself now. Satan does not have the final say in my life. I cannot sit down here and be saying, they will not allow me, they will not allow me. Hey, don't you have the key? I give you the key. Christian, don't you have the key? I have the key. Don't you have the key? And he says, I give you the keys of the kingdom. And instead of sitting down there and complaining, they didn't allow me to go in. Hey, get up now and open this door because whatever you lose on earth in your life, that thing is loosed in heaven. Nobody will make you barren. Nobody will make you poor. Nobody can put a curse on you and be permanent because that curse tonight, we're going to remove it. That affliction tonight, we're going to remove it. Whatsoever, whatsoever, thou shalt loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Whatever you want for yourself, whatever you want for yourself, tonight, tonight, you are getting it. I said tonight you are getting it. There are three things I'm going to talk to you about. Number one is a powerful anointing against demons and Satan. 
powerful anointing against demons and Satan. And that's what Jesus said. You have the key. You have the key. If there's any demon, any Satan, any evil spirit there tormenting your life, tonight we punch that devil. Tonight we punch that demon. And then we send them out of your life. They are gone. I said they are gone. We send them out in Jesus' name. Powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Number two, prevailing authority over disease and sickness. Sicknesses are going away here tonight. Anywhere that sickness is, any corner that thing is, we're going to open the door and we'll sweep everything out of your life. You're going to be free. I said you're going to be free. I am going to be free. I said I am going to be free. I said I am going to be free. You're free in Jesus' name. Prevailing authority over disease and sickness. And now number three, this is yours. I said this is yours. Personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. Personal assurance. Personal assurance. You know, somebody has a key. And the car is there. And he has the key in his hand. As he's walking to the car to open that door of the car. It's not in any doubt. Because it's the key that gives the confidence. It's the key that gives the assurance. And if you ask him, where are you going? He says, I'm going from here. And I'm going to there. How do you know you are going to get there? It's the key. It's the key. Once the key is there, you'll travel anywhere you want to travel to. You'll get anything you want to have because it says, here is the key. I give the keys of the kingdom unto you. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth is loosed in heaven. I used to think somebody can disturb me, but now I understand the key is in my hand. I said the key is in my hand. I used to think that somebody can hinder me from getting to where I want to go. The key of the car is not in their hand. It is in my hand. And once I get there, you know, all those people, they stand in the way. And they don't have the key. And as they stand there, I enter. They're looking at me. They say, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. I'll have the key in my hand. And then I close the door. And I put the key in the ignition. And he says, you're not going anywhere. You're not going. I say, get out of that place. I say, get out of that place. Because if they don't get out of that place, I will get to where I'm going. But their legs may break. I said, their legs may break. You have the key in your hand, and anybody that says you will not go somewhere, say, please get out of that place, because if you don't get out of that place, your legs may break. I don't want to break your leg. Get out, because I'm going there. I said I am going there. I said I am going there. I see you arriving already. I see you there already. And I see you are going to succeed. You will succeed in Jesus' name personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. You are sure tonight. I said you are sure tonight. Nothing will hinder you. Nothing will stop you. Blessing is going to flow into your life. Showers of blessing. Anything you name tonight, anything you claim tonight, it has come. I said it has come. Where has it come? I said where has it come? I come to you right there. Number one, now, number one, powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Let's come back to this chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18. I'm reading from verse 18. It says, Very lesson unto you. And you say, Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Begin to think about what we're going to bind tonight. That thing will go. That thing will go. I begin to put them down. Everything you bind today, everything you send away from your life today, everything is going away from your life. Bad luck cannot remain again. If you say, bad luck, tonight is the last night here. And barrenness cannot remain. Once you say barrenness, I, I didn't know I had the authority. I was waiting for somebody to come and help me drive you out. Now I got the key tonight. I said, now I got the key tonight. Somebody there, I said, I got the key tonight. 
and whatsoever I bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. You will not cry again. You will not weep again. No sorrow anymore. Because whatsoever, everybody say whatsoever. Ye shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever, whatsoever, ye shall loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. I want to show you in Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9, this key that the Lord has given. The key, the key. Help me shout, the key. What do you have tonight? What do you possess tonight? What are you going to use tonight? The key. And once we mention your problem at the end of the meeting, I thank God your doors are opening. I thank God prosperity is coming your way. Health is coming your way. Forget about uh, that extreme because we open the door tonight. You enter into health. And you enter into soundness in your body in Jesus' name. Look at Luke chapter 9. I'm looking at verses, uh, verses 1 and 2. Then he called his 12 disciples together. And he gave them power and authority. He gave them power and authority. That's the key. That's the key. He gave them power and authority. There is power here tonight. To heal every sickness. And to drive out every demon. Power and authority over all devils. And to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. The power against demons and the power against Satan. Look at chapter 10. In chapter 10 verse 17, and the 17 returned again with what disappointment. What are you going to return home today with? Joy of a miracle and the joy of deliverance and the joy of blessing. And the joy of the showers upon your life is happening already. As I said, it's happening already. Nothing that tied you up as if, you know, your heart, no liberty. Your spirit, no liberty. Your body, no liberty. You're even loose right now. I said, you're even loose right now. Look at that, look at that. In that chapter, in that chapter 10 and verse 17, it says, And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. The other key, the name of Jesus. And he said, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Look at verse 18. And he said unto them, he said unto them, I beheld, tell me, Satan as lightning fall from heaven. When they went out, John at the key, Peter at the key, Matthew at the key. Everywhere they went, everybody, nobody said, ah, you got victory, I didn't have victory. You got victory, I didn't have victory. Every one of them, 70, they returned. And this one said, I had the victory. This one said, I had the victory. This one said, I had the victory. Who is the next one? This one said, I had the victory. That one said, I had the victory. No failure. No disappointment. Everybody returned with joy. I see that joy on your face. I see that joy in your family. You will return with joy tonight. And then you will say, my brother, I got something. My brother, I got a miracle. My sister, I got a miracle. You are going to share your testimony. And then it says, I beheld Satan fall as lightning. And then it says, now I'm going to give you a greater key. They got the key. That's why they went out. And that's why they had success. Look at verse 19. And behold, I give unto you. I give unto you, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power, over what percentage of the power? What proportion of the power? What fraction of the power? What do you think that somebody has another power somewhere that can touch your life, that can hinder your life, that can hinder your progress, that can make you fail? There's no, that power does not exist. If you know you are going to succeed, I say from tonight, that power does not exist to make you fail. Some, somebody having power to cut short your life, when you have the key, the key is in your hand. The key of long life, where is it? It's in your hand there. And the key of prosperity, where is it? It's in your hand. And the key of a good family and a good marriage, where is it? 
Is the key of your family is somebody else's son? Ah, ah, I give you, I give you power. And then it says to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions. Then it says, and nothing, that's me. And nothing, that's mine. Something is going to happen to you today. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. What does that mean? It means that uh, if they put uh, something there, shackled, and you didn't know, and you sat down there and they said, we caught him, we caught him. They'll be looking at you when you're going to fall down, and then the more you sit on that thing, the stronger you are. And then they gave you something to drink, and you didn't know. You say, thank you very much, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and you drank everything. They said, ah, we got him. He's going to die. And then the following day you came, you couldn't run before, you start running. They say, he's even stronger, because he has the key. Somebody there has the key. I said, somebody there has the key. And nothing from the village, and nothing from the forest, and nothing from anywhere will be able to hurt you in Jesus' name. Your promotion is coming. And that promotion will get to you. And you will rejoice in that promotion. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Because a great thing is going to happen to you. A wonderful thing is going to happen unto you. We're looking at Luke chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 11. Luke chapter 13. And we're reading from verse 11. And behold, there was a woman. Any woman here today? Any woman there today is coming to you. There was a woman which had the spirit of infirmity 18 years. Long time, long time. And was bowed together. And could in no wise lift up herself. When Jesus saw her, when you are there, Jesus has seen you today. The master has seen you today. When he saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. Cancer is dried up. Ulcer is healed. All that a kidney problem tonight is gone. Madness has come from your family. It says, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her. And she, tell me the next word there. I said, tell me the next word there. Immediately, she was made straight and glorified God. That's here tonight. Number one, powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Number two, number two, prevailing authority over disease and sicknesses. Prevailing authority over disease and sicknesses. And we're coming back to Matthew. In Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. I'm reading here from verse 19. Matthew chapter 16. And we're reading from verse 19. It says, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever. And whatsoever. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Look up there. Now, you know, when you have the key, and you always open the door, you always open the door, and then your child, maybe your child was born in the family, and then, three years now, four years now, five years now, and you just came back from wherever, and your child is there, and the child always expects that daddy will get out of the car, and he will go and open the door, and will come in, and now you just say, now, you take the key. He has never done that before. This is the first time. And then, go and open the door, I'm waiting here, and bring this, and bring this, and then the boy takes the key, only five years of age, and he puts in there, the door does not know the age of anybody. All he knows is the door responds to the key, not to the age. The door responds to the key, not to the maturity. And that little boy puts in the key, turns it like this, wow, it turns. It, it pushes down the thing, and the door opens. You know, tonight, I've been opening the door, it's now your turn. And the key does not know age. 
The key does not know title. The key does not know that you are GS or you are pastor or you are evangelist. It's the key that matters. And the same key I pass on to you. The same key that Jesus Christ had been using to heal the sick and to open the eyes of the blind, and to make the lame to walk. He said, Peter, guess what's happening? The same key I've been using is the key of the kingdom. There's no other key. It's the key of the kingdom. Peter, I give this unto you. Me? I mean the same key that Jesus had. That's why when Jesus walked on the water, and then he said, Jesus, if that is you, bid me to come on the water. Of course you can come. Because it's the same key. If Peter uses the key tonight, it will open the door. If John uses the key tonight, it will open the door. Just mean, you know, if you open the door tonight, this a door will open. Okay, Ngozi, that's your name. Ngozi, if you open the door tonight, it's the same key. It's coming. It's coming. And I said, it will happen in Jesus' name. Whatever door you open, that door will open. And whatever door you close, that door will close. You open it here on earth, heaven will confirm. You open it, you close it here on earth, heaven will confirm in Jesus' name. Tonight, you will decree. Tonight, you'll pronounce the blessing you, you want. And you are carrying that blessing out of this place tonight in Jesus' name. Uh, look at this. Look at this in Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. And I'm reading here from verse, uh, we're reading from verses 7 and 8. Matthew chapter 10. And we're reading from verses 7 and 8. Here he tells us what the Lord himself is saying. He's saying that now you have the key. What are to do with the key? And as he go preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. It will happen tonight. Cleanse the lepers. It will happen tonight. Raise the dead. It will happen. And then cast out devils. Freely ye have received and freely give. No wonder. No wonder. John, James, and John were going to the temple. And they saw this man. They've been seeing him a long time. He said, just paralyzed over there. And then all of a sudden, Peter said, John, wait. When we pass this man here, when we have the key in our hand to open the door, because whatever we find here on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose here will be loosed in heaven. And then said, look on us. Something is going to happen. Look on us. Silver and gold are thy none. But what I have. He knew he had something. You know you have something. I said, you know you have some. You have the name of Jesus. You have the power of the Holy Ghost. You have the authority of the word of God. You have the anointing that breaks the yoke. Where have you tonight? I know I have. I know I have. I know I have. You know, you have the key. I have the key. I say, which one are we going to use? You say, Pastor, use yours. I use it. It opens. I say, the next door, you use your own now. Let's try your own. Whether your own is fake or counterfeit or genuine. Because my own is genuine. I said, my own is genuine. And as you mentioned the name of Jesus, that name of Jesus will destroy the works of the devil. And it says, silver and gold have I none for what I have. Not what they have. I know what I have. I said I know what I have. What he says, what I have I give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Did it happen? It will happen again. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. It happened at that time. It is happening again. Look at Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. And I'm reading here from verse, uh, from verse 17. It says from verse 17, And this sign shall follow them that believe. Any believer there tonight, any believer there tonight, this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, whose name? In my name, whose name? They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. Your life is secured. I said your life is secured. When I come next time, if Jesus tarries, I'll find you here. You will not die before that time. 
you cannot die before that time. Whatever happens, God will keep you alive. I say God will keep you alive. Look at it. It says, and any, any test that comes to you, you will remember that. You remember that. And if the, the devil says, uh, huh? something is getting you, you say, no, it cannot get me. I said it cannot get me. Because I'm, going, I'm still going to see the pastor. I said I'm still going to see the pastor. I cannot die now. Say it for yourself. Let people hear you now. You will not die. The number of your days it will fulfill. While you're going through any condition, remember that you're going to remain alive. You'll be alive in Jesus' name. It says, it, nothing, it shall not hurt you. And then it says, they shall lay their hands on the sea. And, and somebody will recover there tonight. And they shall recover. That's what the Lord is telling us. And it will happen in Jesus' name. Look at this. When Jesus said, Peter, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. There was one man that was not there. He was still in the field of sin. He was still in the wilderness of sin. He wasn't there. And now Jesus died. And Jesus rose again. And the day of Pentecost came. The man was still not there. I went after the people started preaching. The man did not even understand. He was persecuting them. What's his name? Paul. And then eventually, he came later. He came much, much later. And after he came later, he was converted. Ah, it is, oh, what, what a pity. If I had been there, I would have got my key. But he also got the key. He came later, he got the key. And you came later, and you're getting the key. I said you came later, you're getting the key. There's some people think that the key was given to Peter, the key was given to John, and the key was given to Matthew, and now the rest of us now, what are we going to do? Thank God, I came later, I got my key. I said I came later, I got my key. Look at this, look at this. Acts of the Apostle chapter 14. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, I'm reading from verse 7. Look at it in verse 7. And there they preached the gospel. And then it says, And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, had, it says, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had what? And that's the same condition, that same situation that Peter saw in chapter 3. And the same had, tell me the name, Tell me the name out loud. And the same man had Paul speak. And who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, tell me out loud. Stand upright on thy feet. What happened? And he lived and he walked. Did he have the key? I said, did he have the key? Even though you are coming later, the key is coming to you. The key of authority and the key of power and the key of anointing. You have it tonight in Jesus' name. Number one is a powerful anointing. Thank God I have that. Number two is the prevailing authority. Thank God I have that. Number three now is personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. Personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. Psalm 91. In Psalm 91, I'm reading from verse 3. Psalm 91. Psalm 91, and we're looking at verse 3. It says, surely I'm sure about this tonight. I said I'm sure about this tonight. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He will do it. I said he will do it. Look at surely, 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 personal, personal, personal. Salvation is coming to you. Deliverance is coming to you. And all that you need healing is coming your way in Jesus' name. We're looking at 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. And we're reading from verse 37. Verse 37. In verse 37 is this personal assurance. Personal assurance. David said, moreover, the Lord that, that delivered me 
out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. He will deliver me. He will deliver me. Are you there? He will deliver me. There's no doubt about it. Your deliverance is tonight. Your healing is tonight. Your salvation is tonight. He will deliver me. We're looking at 2 Timothy chapter 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4. And I'm reading here from verse 18. 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 4. And we're reading from verse 18. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 18. It says, and the Lord shall deliver me. Say that for yourself. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. From every evil work. Anything that will count as evil in your life, in your body, in your family, on your child, on your wife, on your husband, in your place of work, deliverance has come tonight. Am I talking to somebody there today? It is coming to you in Jesus' name. It says, and the Lord shall deliver me, even me, from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Now, the time of action is coming. Time of demonstration is coming. It's a time, you know, we have the key. There must be a time we use the key. And the time we use the key is arriving right now. I'm going to use the key on your personal life, in your family, and then on your body. And the key will open every door of progress and every door of prosperity and every door of health and the door of salvation. It will open in Jesus' name. Uh, we're looking at, uh, at uh, Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, and we're reading from verse 5. And this is what will lead us to action will lead us to demonstration, will lead us to that deliverance and salvation in your life today. We're looking at Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 8, and we're reading from verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, the Lord has entered into this place today. And life will never remain the same for you. There came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, tell me. Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. He never said no to anybody. Anybody looking for salvation, he never said no. Anybody asking for healing, he never said no. Anybody asking for deliverance, he never said no. If he's going to say no, it will be for the first time after 6,000 years or after 2,000 years. But he never says no. And tonight, he will not say no to you. Heaven has said yes concerning your case. Heaven has said yes concerning your request. Because the key is already there. If he didn't want to, to use the key, he will not give you the key. But he said, Behold, I give the keys of the kingdom unto you. And whatsoever tonight thou shalt open will be open. And whatever tonight thou shalt close will be closed in Jesus' name. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth is loosed in heaven. And look at this. I will come and uh, heal him. Look at what the man said. And the centurion answered and said, uh, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. Then he said, but oh, speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Tonight, that's the key, the word. The word of power. The word of authority. The word of anointing. It's the word of healing. It's coming your way. It's a word of deliverance. It's coming your way. Speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. I have the key with me here today. I said I have the key with me here today. I have that anointing. I have that authority. And the name of Jesus is here. Whatever your problem, whatever your sickness, the Lord is going to set you free today. And then, of course, the key to the kingdom. That first of all, you enter by repentance and say, I want to be saved. There's salvation. I said there's salvation. And that salvation is coming your way. It will forgive your sin. Then it will set you free. And then you can say, I'm a child of the kingdom. I'm not just a person that gave, you know, some people. They come like they come to the restaurant. 
and then they eat after they have eaten they say praise the lord that was a great uh, restaurant and then they come out but they don't have the key to that restaurant they cannot get there anytime and that's only one meal and when you take that one meal and then you are hungry again what do you do and then they have closed the door and uh, you cannot enter because uh, the opening time is over but if you are a child in the house anytime there's hunger then you take out the key and you enter that place and they say what have you come for i'm a son in the house i came to you they say sit now you eat and go out you don't drop your key there you put your key in your pocket and if you're hungry again you go back there and open you are not knocking at the door is anybody there anybody there they are there enough food is inside there you open the door and for that to open to you you must be born again it means that you are charged in the kingdom anytime you can come like many people today now anytime they can come and something good will happen to them i said something good will happen to you you will get saved and getting saved is simple it just will say lord i am part of the number you died for me on the cross of calvary i come i turn away from my sin i take jesus christ as my lord and savior he says whosoever whosoever anybody there I said, whosoever, anybody there, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And salvation happens. And after that time, come and see doors opening in your life. And come and see miracles flowing into your life. Tonight is the night. I said, tonight is your night. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. Jesus Christ is right here. He's saying, I want to forgive your sin. I want to give you the key. The key is salvation that brings that thing. And he wants to do it in your life. And if you want him to forgive your sin and change your life and give you that salvation right now, because whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. He's calling you right now. You raise up your hand. He'll forgive your sin. Where are you? Just raise up that hand. I need forgiveness. God bless you. God bless you. They're wonderful, wonderful. A miracle will begin in your life right here tonight. Salvation is coming. Anywhere you are, raise up your hand, raise up your hand. I want that forgiveness. I want that salvation. I want to be a child of the kingdom. I want to be a child of the kingdom. If you are raising up your hand, you'll stand up. You'll stand up. You'll say, yes, here I might praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You're raising up your hand. You'll stand up. You'll say, yes, I am here. Yes, I am here. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I am here. Yes, I am here. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. He'll give you the key. You have that confidence and you have that assurance. I am a child of God. I'm a child of God. Anywhere you are, just rise up there, rise up there, rise up there, and raise up that hand. I believe, I believe that Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. Anywhere you are, just stand up there, inside, outside, anywhere, at the back, in the front, in the middle. Get up right there. Get up right there. Get up right there. As you stand up, just tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I confess my sin. I am sorry. I'm a sinner. Say that to, uh, to the Lord right there. I want you to forgive me. I want you to change my life right now. I give my life to Jesus to be my Savior. Tell him right now. Tell him right now. He will do that. You'll never be the same again. Tell him there. Tell him there. Lord, forgive me. Lord, change my life. And let your salvation, your forgiveness come to me right now. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He is my Savior. And from tonight, your life will turn around. Thank God it's happening right now. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. I'm going to pray for you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for these uh, new brothers and sisters who have raised up their hands, who are standing up, and they are asking you to forgive them. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Change their lives in Jesus' name. Bring them into your kingdom. I pray, Lord, that all their sins, all the guilt and the condemnation will pass away, and they will know they are saved tonight. Thank you because I know you have answered. They are now in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Now my time has come. I said, now my time has come. I said, now my time has come. Does anybody have personal assurance there? I said, somebody, any, anywhere can find personal assurance there. Personal assurance that deliverance has come. Personal assurance that sickness is going away. Personal assurance 
this problem, I will not carry it back home. What are you there? Are you sure that the miracle is coming your way? Are you sure the key is here tonight? Jesus cannot lie. He said, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom. And he says, whatsoever, whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That deliverance is coming to you, to you now. And that healing is coming to you now. You will have it in Jesus' name. Look at that sickness, and then that's the last time you're going to see that thing. Look at that infirmity. This is the last night you're going to see that thing. Immediately after the final amen, you check up yourself. Miracle has happened. Deliverance has come. And the healing has come. And that thing that is negative in your life is changed in Jesus' name. Raise up that hand, raise up that hand. Father, in the name of Jesus. We well, thank you for this day of power and this day of anointing and this day of the key, the key of power, the key of anointing and the key of authority. Oh Lord, I open their doors. Lord, I pray that all the blessings of God will flow into their lives in Jesus' name. That sickness will come out. That infirmity will come out. Lord, you have told us, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. You said, if we pronounce it here on earth, you will affirm it there in heaven. I pronounce that healing has come to them. I pronounce that deliverance has come to them. That cancer, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Asthma, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. All that uh, kidney problem, I command you, be healed in Jesus' name. And the problem at your back, I command that pain, vanish away in Jesus' name. That thing tormenting your head, I command that tormenting spirit, come out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray, every sickness in their body, every infirmity in their body, you are loosed in Jesus' name. You are delivered in Jesus' name. You are healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are barren. I pray that their miracle children will come right now. Barrenness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Miracle child, come. Miracle child, come. Confirm each in their lives in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, every yoke is broken. That cause in your life is taken away. I pray that definite healing you are looking for. Right now, at this time, receive your healing in Jesus' name that deliverance and setting free and freedom you are looking for, this is your time. Be free. Be loosed. You are liberated. Be free in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray you open the door of prosperity for them. Poverty, get out of their lives. Prosperity, come into their lives. I pray that every good blessing they need, that right now you affirm it and confirm it in every life, in Jesus' name. Brother, receive your miracle. Sister, receive your miracle. My boy, my daughter there, receive your miracle. My child there, receive your miracle. Lord, I, I pray for everyone. I pray that nobody will go out of this place empty-handed. The key has opened the door. A blessing has come into your life. The key has locked the door. And curses are bad from your life in Jesus' name. Lord, touch everyone. Transform everyone do something definite in every life. Confirm it in every life right now. I thank you because I know it is done. I know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. Another amen. Another amen. The key has worked in your life. I said the key has worked in your life. You will never be the same again. I got something. Where are you? I got something. I have a testimony. It is confirmed in Jesus' name. 